The new Struther Web Solutions website dashboard was released in late September 2011. This video gives you a quick introduction to the layout and functions of that dashboard. We're using the Firefox browser today. Your browser may make your dashboard look slightly different, but the primary functions are still going to be the same regardless of what browser you're using. To get to your website dashboard, open your web browser and enter the domain for your website. In this case we're going to use a customer's website at jgimprinters.com. So you're going to type your website domain and then at the end of that you're going to put a forward slash and the word administrator. So for this client their uh, website is at jgimprinters.com forward slash administrator. As soon as you do that you will see the website dashboard login screen come on. By now you should already have a username and password for your website dashboard. If you are watching this video and you do not have your login credentials, just send an email to helpdesk at strutherweb.com. This email needs to be sent from the uh, account administrator's email on your account with StrutherWeb. Uh, send us an email, tell us that you need to get your credentials for your dashboard and we will take it from there. So we've got a demo password for this account that we're going to use. Make sure if your password is uh, all lowercase letters that you do it that way and click on login. As soon as you uh, enter your login and password correctly you'll be taken to the dashboard screen, the home screen. And depending on how old your website is and when we set it up for you, you'll see a different set of icons here. Every dashboard will have this basic set of icons. These are just the primary icons uh, that your website needs to function and give you access to the other tools at Strother Web Solutions. So the first thing you'll see on this page is an access button to get to our webmail portal. If you're using a webmail or an email address that's affiliated with your domain on Strother Web Hosting, uh, click on that and it will take you to the webmail sign-in screen. The cPanel icon will take you to the control panel where you can manage your web hosting. Different accounts have different levels of hosting but the login is always the same so if you are using our cPanel or web hosting functionality this is where you will go to log into that. You can always if you need help open a support ticket by going here clicking on open support ticket this will give you the platform to log into your account and open a ticket at the help desk. The self-help icon will take you to probably the same place where you launched this video from, the knowledge base at Strother Web Solutions. If you click on that, you can get uh, nearly 200 videos all off of our website that tell you how to do different things. The Strother Web Solutions blog has news and information about our company, and you will often find tips and tricks there to help you with not only website management, but also marketing your website and search engine marketing techniques. The My Account icon will take you, as you could imagine, straight to your account with Strother Web Solutions where you can review service tickets, uh, open service tickets, view your invoices, pay invoices, and other account management tools such as that, including domain management if you host your domain with us. The Google Analytics icon will launch the Google Analytics interface. This shows you what's going on with traffic to your website. Um, for the Google Analytics icon, you'll be able to find another um, video coming up soon in our series that will tell you all about that, so you'll want to be sure and watch that video. On the right-hand side, Strother Web Solutions News. These are articles on our website that tell you about things going on at Strother Web Solutions. These will always be pretty relevant to your website and the website dashboard. So you'll want to keep an eye on those. Uh, for instance, here's one from August 25th when we first introduced the newest version of the dashboard. Right up here above Strother Web Solutions News, you should have the editor selector. Now, there'll be other videos that tell you exactly what these different editors do, but this drop-down allows you to choose the editor that you're working in in Strother Web Solutions. We have three different editors that we apply to our accounts, and each one of them has their own benefits and their own virtues. Um, over the other one. So it depends on what task you're trying to accomplish as to which editor is best for you. Most of the time, Tiny MC is going to be your, your chosen editor. Uh, just depends on what you're doing as to whether you might want to use one of the other ones. There will be videos in the same section where you found this one 
to tell you how to use the different editors and which one is better for different situations. Finally, when you're finished working in your dashboard, please always log out. There's a button right up here in the top right hand corner. It says log out. Simply click on that. It will take you back to the website dashboard login screen where you can log in again if you need to or exit your browser. At the bottom of the website dashboard login screen, you'll find links to our new Google Plus account, as well as helpful videos on YouTube, our Facebook page, and our Twitter. We hope to see you on one of those soon.